Hey everybody, happy Wednesday morning. Now, a lot of you don't know this, but for the last month or so, we've actually had about 15 or 20 people testing out the Journaly application, which for those of you who are new here, Journaly is a foreign language journaling platform for exchanging feedback with native speakers and basically finding people who are not just good language matches, but good people matches, people who you would like to talk to in real life. And so I have to tell you, this last month has been, it's been one of the craziest, one of the longest, but also definitely one of the most special months of my entire life. Uh, it's insane. And so the Journaly application has grown enormously. I cannot believe how many updates and improvements have been made in such a short time. So today I'm going to be giving you another look. I'm going to show you just the whole application, walk through all of the new stuff that we have, and I'll be giving you a really nice update and when you can expect to finally, finally be invited to come and start joining in the testing for beta. But first, I just, it's, it's really early. I need just one sip. <sighs> okay, now we, no, I need one more. Okay, so as I mentioned in the introduction, I, I have to tell you, seriously, this last month, it's been unbelievable. I mean, I know there's so much craziness happening in the world right now, so it feels a bit weird to say that this last month has been one of the most special months of my life. But if I just specifically focus on the sort of good things that are happening and what's been happening with Journaly and with YouTube, I have to say YouTube as well, this channel has grown enormously in the last month and it seems to be finally sort of really picking up speed. There are so many new people here, but also my Patreon community has been growing. I've been really enjoying trying to cultivate a really vibrant sort of community on Patreon. I just started doing these weekly language learning diary entries. It's been really, really fun. So if you want to join that community, it's patreon.com forward slash Robin McPherson. But above everything else, Journaly, as many of you will know, it's a project. It's now been two years and eight months I've been working on it. It has been my heart and soul just poured into that project for all that time. Most of you know this by now, but the story, you know, it's like I, I haven't taken a single vacation. I haven't taken a single day off. I haven't even really left San Francisco except for moving to Oakland. 100% um, of my time, energy, effort, even Christmas, even Thanksgiving, New Year's, birthdays, days off, like everything, everything has gone into building journaling. And so after all of that, you know, essentially the entire time, I've been very aware that, you know, maybe no one's ever going to care about this, right? Maybe no one's ever going to even use it. Maybe I'll never finish it. I don't think I ever considered that. I've always known I'm going to finish it. But it's just this idea that, you know, after two years of work, if something goes wrong, who knows what, Nobody would ever know. No one would ever know that I've been just like slaving away to build this thing and giving up all the other good things I could be doing in life just to just to try to build something that's genuinely helpful and useful to people and makes them happy and helps them learn languages. And so to see people really using Journaly and to see them loving it, I don't want to speak for all those people, um, it's been an amazing group. Our alpha testing group are just the most delightful group of people. I'm so grateful that everyone applied to be part of the alpha testing. Um, and yeah, just, they seem to really genuinely love it. That's my impression. I've tried my best to get feedback. I'll of course be doing surveys and, um, you know, any of you feel free to comment on this video, I guess, but it, it really seems like people love Journaly. It seems like it's making people happy already. It seems like it's already delivering an impact and we're just getting started. So it's like, honestly, there's so many funny stories from the last month. I can't tell you how many times I woke up already thinking about it and I wasn't even fully dressed. It was like half dressed, but I had an idea of a quick thing I could do to improve their experience. And I was like writing the code. I'm so familiar with the Journaly code base now that sometimes even in 30 minutes, I can build something new that will actually improve the experience for all of our users. And so sometimes like I'm not even dressed fully and I'm like coding away, getting a thing out, 
And then I'm like texting my teammates like, hey, can anybody review this thing real quick so we can improve? It's just, so I had to have a rule for myself now. I have to finish getting dressed before I start building a new feature for Journaly. Um, I do think I've gotten a lot better uh, at balancing things, but it's been pretty insane working, I would say six to eight hours per day on Journaly alongside a full-time job and alongside making three YouTube videos a week and alongside learning languages and alongside learning data science. It has been absolutely insane. Definitely have been drinking a lot of these. But the good news is I have started getting sleep, which is great. And I can now tell you that we've actually got about 450 people on the waiting list for beta testing, which is absolutely mind blowing. It's phenomenal. It's massive for me. Like I didn't, I never really knew if 20 people would ever use Journaly. So the fact that we're gonna have about 500 if you count the alpha and the beta testers together, it's mind blowing. So. First of all, if you want to join that waiting list, it's still open. So you can go to journaly.io to join the wait list. But what we're going to be doing is starting to email groups of 50 people at a time. And we're going to start inviting people in. Uh, the reason for this is that it is quite a big jump to go from 20 people to 500 people. Um, we have a lot of mechanisms internally at Journaly. We have things like email notifications, which you're going to see any minute now. We have all kinds of stuff. And so we could be sending out tens of thousands of events uh, pretty quickly. And so we want to make sure that we do this properly. We do it slowly. And so over the next few weeks, everyone on the wait list can expect to start receiving emails to be invited into the testing. So. That's the really exciting thing. And I really hope that what you're about to see, which is real production data, these are real users using Journaly. I hope that really helps you see that we're basically there. So without further ado, let's actually jump in finally to a second look at the future of journaling and frankly, writing in language learning. Okay, so if we go to the application, here we go, a lot has changed. Now, the first thing you'll notice is that as you load the My Feed page, we actually have these amazing language filters and it actually recognizes the user's preferences. So if I go to settings, we have these really amazing um, sort of mechanisms for adding in languages. So let's say that I also spoke Arabic as a native language, then I could add that here and remove it. But so these are the languages I speak natively. These are the ones that I am learning. And so, as I said, when I go to the My Feed page, it actually remembers your preferences. So it's always going to try to show you uh, posts written in the languages that you either speak natively or the ones that you're learning. Next, if we actually go to the dropdown, you'll see that it only shows you languages that have at least one post. So that way you're never disappointed. You're only going to see languages here that have posts in them. And you can see how many posts have been written in each language. And that gives you kind of a sense for the size of the community around each given language. Now, look at this. Isn't this amazing? All of these things you see here, these are real posts on Journaly. These are all written by our fantastic, amazing users. If I deselect all of these, then I will see every single post. So if I just have Portuguese, these are all the posts just in Portuguese. There are a number of them. But if I get rid of this, then I will now see everything. Now we've also improved the general design quite a lot. So these post preview cards, they now actually show more of the image. We have this um, language badge so you can see which language it is. So I think this is absolutely fantastic. And you'll notice if we click into a post, we've also improved the design here a lot as well. So now we have some information about the author. We have the author and the date it was published. And look at this, this is real stuff. These are real comments. These are, I mean, it's just, it blows my mind. It's so amazing to see people using this. We've completely revamped the entire uh, sort of commenting stuff. You'll notice here now that we have these relative timestamps. Uh, we have the avatar inside of each comment. Um, and we also have a really cool mechanism where we have implicit thread subscriptions. And so 
Whenever you add a comment inside of one of these threads, you actually get subscribed. And so that way, anytime someone leaves a comment, provided that you are not the author of the comment, you will actually get an email notification. So that way everybody can make sure they stay in touch. Uh, we've also updated the commenting sort of the thread mechanism. It's much smoother now. And you'll notice that we have this really nice simplified icon and it, ju it just all looks really nice in my opinion. And if we come down here, we also now have general post comments where you can sort of have a discussion on the post in general. This was suggested by several people in the original preview video. And we also now have this author card where you can see their avatar, their name, some basic information about them. And this is currently not real data, but this is coming very soon or you can see how many posts they've written and also uh, how many thanks have they received because we're gonna have this concept of thanking somebody for their comments. So again, I just think this is so amazing. It's so cool to see everything people have done. This was written by Jake, who is the CEO at Scritter. He's been participating. Um, and you'll notice now, aside from, I mean, how cool does it look having these posts in all these different languages? But I can also now click on his profile and I can see his bio, information about him, social links, and we can even see his recent posts. So this again, really, really helps to expand the sense of community. I mean, look at this. Some of these have 65 comments, 65 comments. I just think this is so amazing. I, I, I don't know, I just, I love it. I love seeing, you know, three people in a single comment thread all having a discussion. It's just fantastic. We've also improved the speed of the website by about four to six times. So things are incredibly snappy now, which is really, really good to see. We've got posts here in Korean. We've got posts here in Japanese. We still have the same thing here with my posts and you can sort of toggle back and forth between drafts and published. Now there've been quite a lot of amazing improvements to the post editor. So this is the journal editor. We built this text editor ourselves. And so now look, at this. We have this amazing preview feature here where you can see exactly what the header of your post is going to look like. You can select the language and it will give you the options based on which languages you speak and the ones you're learning. Now, as you may have seen, we also now have the ability to upload images. So if I just go and pick a random image, we resize it for you. We maintain the proper aspect ratio. Got a little loading spinner here and then you'll be able to see exactly how it's going to look in the context of your post. I just think it's so cool. Uh, the editor has been improved quite a bit. We now have, um, so we can do, we have these active icon colors now. So if I do Command I, Command U, you can see exactly what you have. And furthermore, let's say I'm on a bit more of a mobile view and I now have three paragraphs of text. Well, look at this, the toolbar, as you scroll down, actually floats and hovers with you and you can click things on and off. I love it. Now, I think we had this before, but just to remind you, if I start typing here, and then if I go back to my feed, come back to my post, we do auto save and I love that. Now, same as before, you can also click save as a draft. You'll also notice that there's a much nicer contrast on these buttons now. You have a nice draft badge and you can see exactly how things are going to look. Now, one more thing I'd love to call out here, we just go to one of Lindy's posts, for example. We have actually increased the font size quite a bit. So the font size is larger, but the font weight is lighter and we've also increased the line height. And so I think the posts are so much more readable now and I just really feel good about all these changes. I think the whole website is just looking so much nicer. Now this is the first ever post on Journaly. I wrote this back on July 30th. So if I leave a comment on my own post just to demonstrate for you, click this. So that's a lot snappier now. The, the layout is a lot nicer, but if I leave a comment like this is nice, then we've also introduced this iconography. So I can edit and add a few more and I can also delete that. Okay, everybody, that is everything. I really hope that you love this next look. There are so many posts. I can't believe these are all real. And I just, I love all the people who have been participating and I cannot wait to see what everybody else is gonna write as soon as you finally are able to join the beta testing.